Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the X Man. the second hour of Real Gospel. My name is The X-Man. Here's Amethyst featuring Molly Music with Redeem. Hey, Amethyst, you've been redeemed. Uh. Molly Music been redeemed. Yeah. Let's redeem the Lord.
Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. Some people are known by one name. Shaq, Kobe, Michael, and now Amethyst. <laughs> one name. One name, Amethyst. Welcome to Real Gospel. Wow, what an introduction. Like, my name comes behind all those greats. Thank you. Yeah, that's because you're great. Come on, you're serving Absolutely. the most high. The most high. So, yeah, your name is set above all names except that the name. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I am honored. Thank you so much for having me on today. Yes, yes. And, you know, we've been trying to get this interview scheduled for quite some time. I'm glad that we were finally able to connect because, yes, Lord. Yeah, yes. Yeah, because you're busy, you know. I'm just trying to keep up with you. I'm just saying, you know? Uh-huh. Yes. That's, that's that Chicago stuff, right? Y'all just busy all the time? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I, I, where the, wherever the Lord leads, I shall go. There it is. So tell the listeners just a little bit about you, where you're from. I alluded to that you're a Chicago native. And uh, how did you first fall in love with Jesus? Yes. So... Um, I am born and raised in Chicago. I'm a pastor's kid, and uh, I've been kind of under the oil, underneath the pulpit most of my life, serving in different aspects of ministry. And um, I heard the call of God at a young age, right? So I was three years old, and um, I began to pray and to intercede um, for people. And I remember hearing testimonies. I was too young at the time, but I remember the testimonies that people told me of me just laying my hands on some of the mothers of the church and they would testify that right after I removed my hand the pain that they had before was instantly gone and so prayer life led into a ministry of song and um, shout out to my mom who cultivated the gift within my sister and I and she said when I was born I was like ah and my sister was born and she said ah she's like okay perfect soprano and alto let's get this done and so I've been singing all of my life and I was blessed to uh, really launch into uh, a, a ministry a career I'm just about three years ago, and here I am. Yes, here you are, and you're being quite modest. You know, I had Mally Music on the show not too long ago, and he mentioned you, and he mentioned uh, how awesome it was to work with you. So how you and Mally, uh, Mal hook up? That is such a blessing. He is amazing. Uh, Listen, right place, right time, being corrected to the right people, right? And so I have to do another shout out to my brother-in-law, Marcus Hodge, an amazing producer um, from the West Coast. And uh, he made this collaboration happen to produce the song. And we we got got done with it. We say, hey, this song is really good, but it's missing a little bit of sauce on it. My husband was like, why don't y'all reach out to somebody like Molly Music? And we was like, ah, there it is called Molly, reached out, he heard it, he loved it, jumped in the studio. I think he nailed it with one take. I literally was sitting there and on the entire time. That's amazing. And yes. so you you got my friend Deidre Hatton. <laughs> yes. I, I'm at a loss. <laughs> Mally Music, I mean, see, you just how, okay, how'd you get Deidre? The favor of God. <laughs> it literally is the, the same connection. Um, I got a shout out again to my brother who who really uh, took control and made this easy for me. And I, I showed up and we, we collaborated on who would sound good on which song. And he made it happen. I thank God. Yeah, see, see, she's being modest, y'all. See, for those <laughs> those of you all who, who didn't just get saved yesterday, you you recognize, maybe you don't recognize Mally music. Okay, I, I understand that. That's sort of inside baseball. But maybe you should have heard of Diedrich Hatton. Okay, you hadn't. Well, I'll just say that they are some powerhouses in the just the music industry. They can take a song and make a song make you move your head and clap your hands and stomp your feet and run around yes. the church and have you shouting yes. and that they, they, they that's who these kind of people they specialize in that kind of stuff. So Absolutely. the fact that you know you got them on your um speed dial is uh, yes. quite uh, <laughs> <laughs> just messing with you. So talk Hello. about so you are a, a, a a member or a former member of the uh, Church of God in Christ? Wow. I, I am a current member, born okay. and raised in the Church of God in Christ, okay. and that is a long heritage. Uh, my grandparents uh, started us in the Church of God in Christ, and my dad is still a member of um, our church. is Holy Temple Cathedral in Harvey, Illinois. There I serve as the Minister of Fine Arts and Worship, as well as the Director of Youth Ministries there. And so, yes. Born and raised Kojic, I probably will be Kojic all of my life. 
and will be buried uh, uh, funeralized probably in, in a Cody truck as well. It's in my heart at this point. Well, it, it, it ain't no probably by this time. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm Kojic as well. I'm part oh, of Tennessee wonderful. 4th. Yeah. So are you familiar with, um, he used to live there. He's in Memphis now. Bishop Hawkins, Milton Hawkins. The name sounds familiar. He, I do not know him personally. He, yeah, he now pastors the late G.E. Patterson's church. Awesome. Uh, okay. that, that's who took that church over. That was his nephew, by the way. Okay. Okay. Got it. And Just, we love us and Bishop Patterson. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That's, yes. that's a whole nother testimony right there. Okay. A whole mm -hmm. sermon theory. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So this project that um, you have, we're, we're already playing the single. Like I said, Thank we, we, you so we, love, much. we love the single. What can Thank we expect you. from the entire project? Yeah, so I really wanted to minister to the people of God wherever they were, right? Or wherever they are. And uh, you can expect that this project will be very diverse. It will be versatile. And uh, we're going to be able to sing to the mothers. We're going to go back to hand clapping, foot stumping, Pentecostal church. And then we're going to go, we're going to get some reggae and okay. some Caribbean vibes too. And so um, really, I wanted all ages, right? All of God's people to be able to hear something and say that this song was written and sang and ministered to me. And um, we're just really excited. Um, the single is available right now on all digital outlets redeemed, um, uh, anticipating that the full project will be available um, very early of 2022. Amen. Speaking of the um, current song Redeemed, you know, it, it that song has sort of a Caribbean vibe to it, uh, yes. island type touch to it. You were, you were just going to test me to see if I actually, you know, know the song. That's that's what you was going to do. That's what you was Trigger point. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> Can I get a witness? Yes. I listened to the song. I love the song. I listened to yeah. Thank so, you. So how, because you're from Chicago, so how did you pull in that Caribbean vibe? That How, how, did, how do you know? that this works that you know how, how do you know so that was that's a good question and it was the scariest feeling ever can i tell you that this song was probably the furthest song from what i expected to have on my project right so this is a song that really pushed me out of my comfort zone um prior to this if you had asked me what kind of singer i was i probably said oh i'm a praise and worship singer i sing contemporary gospel music i would never say anything like a reggae or anything hip-hop or anything of the like um my brother did the beat and uh, I heard the song and I was like, y'all, who y'all, who's singing this song? This is not for me. They was like, just try it. So I said, okay, I'm going to step beyond my comfort zone. And I believe that God will give you strength, right? Because in order to get into an unfamiliar territory, you're going to be able to do something that perhaps is uncomfortable for you. And that's when we lean and trust in God the most, when we can see man's extremity is God's opportunity. And he certainly spoke and moved to this, to this piece. He definitely is. And um, I just, the fact that uh, you and, 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 and Mellon Music uh, came together and, and just inked this, it's, <laughs> it's, it's phenomenal because it's, it speaks to sort of a new generation in, in, in yeah. gospel music. I'm not saying that we don't like some of the traditional stuff because I play traditional music on my show all the time. But I'm just saying it just it speaks to a new song. Yes. In a new yes. land. It's, it's a scripture somewhere. I can't think off the top of my head. It's like doing math on TV, right? So, um, what more can? We, what more are we going to get out of you that God is allowing you to do with this forthcoming project? Because this is fresh and it is new and it goes beyond the regular uh, sort of church sound of that. The, yes. let's, let's go with the Kojic sound. Let's for people who, okay. who who understand the the the. the parameters around some of the music that we've had over the years this goes beyond that you can dance you can shout but it's also something else as well absolutely and so i'm just a vessel and what that means that i'm yielded right i'm moldable to whatever the lord ah, desires for me to be it. and so yes um just continuing to develop in prayer life uh, allows me to hear the voice of God and, and to answer which direction he will have me to be. And I tell people, they say, what have you been doing? Praying. During this whole pandemic, praying. Because the strategy that we had prior to going to the pandemic is not necessarily the strategy that God intends for us to execute in this day and time. So the message of Jesus Christ has not changed, but the method always is constantly being reevaluated. 
And, and so uh, whatever God has me to do, I don't want to be confined to the four walls of the church. Uh, I want to be wherever Jesus was. Jesus was worldwide. He was global. Take me with Jesus. OK, take me where he lived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And so that's really my, my heart's desire. That's really my testimony um, to be able to have something that resonates with God's people all over the world. Well, you know what I, I foresee? And, I, you know, I said this to Jaquil and Carr when she was only 13 and she was a guest on the program years ago when she was 13, because I think she's like 23 now. And at that time, she was only singing. And I, 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 it was something that was going on in that interview. And I said, you know what? Have you ever preached or spoken anywhere and at the time she said no i said well get ready because god is getting ready to open those doors and you're going to do just as much speaking as you are singing my and god god did it like shortly after that so look at her now um yes i say the same thing to you that i i, I hear the voice of the lord saying oh, lord. <laughs> you know yeah i know you've been doing some speaking engagements here and there over the years yes. but you know what yes he is about to birth something new in you. It's not new to you, but it's going to be new to the people who are going to hear what you have to say because you're going to do spoken word and it's going to be intertwined with your music somewhere in the same vein as a Jacqueline Carr or Pastor Shirley Caesar because there is a there is a spoken word in you and there's also a a, a musical word in you and those two things are intertwined and they're part of you. So yes. yeah, so hey Amen. Yeah. I receive that. Yeah. I receive that. Yeah. yeah. So wh where is your, sp your your next speaking engagement? Because I already know people have been asking you. So oh who's, my God, who's been reaching out to you, <laughs> saying how much is it going to cost to get amethyst here? What does it take? <laughs> you know, you know her entourage. How many? You know, blah blah. Does she need blah blah? So who's 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 calling you and contacting you first? You can't tell me that no one has not been reaching out to you, asking you to come minister for them. That is so funny. Listen, I consider speaking the word of God to be a serious, a very serious call, right? And um, I want to make sure that I represent Jesus as who he is, the light and the true God, wherever I do, whether it's singing, it's praying, it's ministering. It's so funny that you just said that. Uh, after service yesterday, my dad called me into the office and he says, uh, every second Sunday is Women's Day. I'm like, yeah, I know that. He said, well, next second Sunday, the month of December will be the last Sunday of this year. And you've been running and I've left you get off the hook. He said, but I won't accept no for an answer. You will bring the message on second Sunday in December at our home church. So <laughs> wow. my, my next speaking engagement will be at my home church the wow. second Sunday in December. <laughs> see there? See there? What's, the, what's that? So the Lord is speaking to you. See? You see that that's God right there, everybody. And we're almost out of time, by the way, because I was gonna say the second Sunday in December is what? December the what? December the twelfth. December the twelfth. So yes. all roads lead to Holy Temple Cathedral Church of God in Christ, 159 12 Lincoln Avenue, Harvey, Illinois, 60426. There it is. And so <laughs> they can I'm gonna let you give the church uh website and all that for people who want to stream in and hear that word in just a second. But as we wrap up, Amethyst. It's been a pleasure and an honor to have you on The Real Gospel. Please, by all means, tell the listeners where they can find out more about you, find out more about your music, and uh, how they can chime in on that message that's forthcoming. Yes, thank you so much. It is my absolute pleasure, my delight uh, to be able to share with you. Uh, you can follow me. Anyone who wants to keep up with me, you can stay connected and follow me on all social media outlets. And that handle is at Amethyst Sings. That's A M E. T H Y S T scenes with an S. Our church website is www.htcogic.org and Redeem featuring Molly Music. My new single is available right now on all digital outlets. You can download it, stream it, add it to your playlist, play as many times as you want. Be blessed and enjoy. Let the Redeem of the Lord say so. There it is, the one and only Amethyst recording artist, preacher, teacher. I threw the preacher in there. You were supposed to make that. You see, you go see, see. I hear you. Yeah, see, see, you didn't say anything yet, but that means that you already feel it in your spirit, like you just said. So it there fair. it is. I'm going to tune fair. in. And so even if, you know what, even if I don't get to tune in on that day, I am going to make sure I go back and watch it. Yes. For real. I want to see this word. I want to hear this word. Do you have a title in hand? Has, has you been, have you moved that far along yet? I have not moved that far alone. I'm going to get before the Lord and uh, whatever he has me to say, I will say it. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you one piece of advice that we as church folk always say when we're sitting there and we're waiting to hear that word. 
You, if you don't know what I'm about to say, I promise you, you've heard it before. Here we go. Let them use you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yeah. Any day, any time. All right. Listen, thank you so, so much for being a guest on Real Gospel, Amethyst. Thank you. And I look forward to coming back again soon. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men. And the real flashback song of the hour is on the way. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, you may qualify for a free continuous glucose monitor system. Managing your diabetes is crucial to your health. The new CGM systems can automatically manage your diabetes better for you. And by using a CGM system, you can eliminate forever one thing most people with diabetes hate the most, finger sticks. Now it's possible to manage your diabetes better end the painful finger sticks, and get a new CGM monitoring system at little or no cost to you. We even provide in-home delivery and do all the insurance paperwork for you. Now is the best time to manage your diabetes better and get your continuous glucose monitor. Call now for details. 800-396-0150 That's 800-396-0150.